welcome you all uh, today we are going to discuss the new thing which is known as a turing machine so isse pehle wale video mein apan ne dekh chuke hain uh, finite automata kya hota hai poisson automata kya hota hai aur uske grammar kya hoti hai finite automata ki jo grammar hoti hai wo uh, type uh, 3 language kehlati hai type 3 grammar kehlati hai jo poisson automata ki hoti hai wo type 2 hoti hai और उसी के अंदर एक बाउंडेड पुश डाउन ऑटोमेटा जिसको टाइप वन कहते हैं आज अपन डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं ट्यूरिंग मशीन और ट्यूरिंग मशीन के द्वारा जो ग्रामर एक्सेप्ट होती है विच इज सिंपली नोन एज टाइप जीरो ग्रामर और टाइप जीरो सिंपली लैंग्वेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर मेनली गोइंग टू डिस्कस बेसिक इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ ट्यूरिंग मशीन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल टेक एन एग्जाम्पल and understand detail how turing machine will work and how it is more powerful and more advanced as compared to the finite automata and push down automata so a finite automata and a push down automata are only move left or right but turing machine can move in the both direction so it was the drawback or we can say disadvantages of push down automata and finite automata that they can move only in a one direction either left or right but turing machine can move both of the direction left or right in both direction it can move it is a very very powerful thing turing machine was proposed by an allen turing uh, in 1936 so it was firstly proposed by 1936 uh, in the we can say uh, by the turing it is turing not a turing सॉरी एल एंड ट्यूरिंग इन 1936 तो 1936 में इट वॉज प्रपोज इट इज यूज टू एक्सेप्ट रिकर्सिवली इनबल लैंग्वेज जनरेटेड बाय द टाइप जीरो ग्रामर सो देर आर बेसिकली फोर टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रामर टाइप थ्री व्हिच इज नोन एज अ रेगुलर ग्रामर टाइप टू व्हिच इज नोन एज अ वी कैन से कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर और वी कैन से टाइप वन विच इज अ बाउंडेड Uh, with uh, context free grammar uh, which is simply known as a bounded push down automata and now the grammar which is acceptable by turing machine it is simply known as a type 0 grammar the language is known as a recursively enumerable language a turing machine consists of a tape of infinite length on which read or write operation can be performed that is very important so it is a it contains a tape tape it means a storage media or we can say memory which can be able to read the things read the input or store the input or write the input so this tape are contain the inputs uh, which is we are going to test on our turing machine and it tape is also able to write the data into the particular tape another thing is that it is infinite it means it having infinite length we can infinitely add the string inside the tape the tape consists of a infinite cells on which each cell either contain the input symbol or a special symbol called a blank so it is also one of the important things the tape of push down automata at the both end contain the a special symbol which is known as a blank b so here we are noting that as a b so b as a special symbol suppose it is in a tap inside the tap it contain the string of input string uh, the which we are going to test on our turing machine so here it contain the input string and the both end if we can say it is a left end or we can say it is a right end at the both end it contains the special symbol we can say b or we can say b over here not a single b we can add multiple number of b's which is simply represented the uh, the step are going to blank over or we can say it doesn't contain an input string beyond this b or beyond this b toward this b is represented the blank over left side and right side b represent the blank over right side so it is contain a special symbol which is simply known as a b so it tape contains the two thing either it Uh, cell either contains input symbol or a special symbol called the blank symbol when tape is unbounded so it is unbounded it is unlimited we can say infinite it also consists of a head pointer 
which points to the cell currently being read and it can be moved in the board direction and it contains a head which currently read we can say it currently reading the input string and it move either a left direction or it can move either in the right direction so it is a head is a pointer which is pointing the string symbol which is currently used to read or after reading or after performing the operation this head can be moved to the left direction or can be moved in the right direction it is a very important point because finite automata and pushed down automata are move in only one direction but this uh, turing machine can move either in left direction or right direction or both it can move once at right or once at a left direction so it move toward both directions now uh, here is a graphical represented of this uh, representation of the same so it is a tape which is uh, we can say uh, this one it can say unbounded it doesn't having any boundation and in between it contain the input string which we are going to test and at the both end at the left end and at the right end it contain the blank symbol b which represent now the tape beyond this symbol will be empty so it is a tape it is a read write head which is pointing to the string which you are going to read and it is a finite control which controlling the header where it goes to move left or right and which things it is going to read so it is a graphical uh, representation of a turing machine so here we can understand the things so turing machine uh, will be a machine which accept the language is is known as a recovery, recursively enumerable language or the grammar which is known as a recursively enumerable grammar or type 0 grammar so it is a four types of grammar so turing machine is a act as a machine or we can say acceptor which tells us that particular things is recursively enumerable language or not now we define it with the help of the tuple seven tuple variables uh, we can say it contains the seven things it is a q uh, the sigma then toy then transaction function then q not b then f what does it mean q is a finite set of state so in the machine there are finite set of state it input alphabets or symbol the various type of alphabet which we are going to use to read on a turing machine are represented by input symbol or input alphabet summation then toy tape alphabet tape in the sense in the tape which data is consists that is a tape alphabet transaction function a transaction function we can say uh, the function which represented as what is a current state what we we are going to reading a current now and after reading that current things where to go on the next state and what will be the current state or what is the top of the tap or we can say uh, top of the tap alphabet i will show you the function also so q not it is a initial state it is belong to uh, from the we can say q it is a not a summation it is a q q is a set of all state so q not is belong to set of all state after then we can say uh, toy, which is uh, capital b which is a blank symbol which is a uh, belongs to uh, tape alphabets so b is uh, simply a tape alphabets so which reside inside the tape to represent the blank f is a finite set of finite state it is also belongs to q so it is a q not a summation it also belongs to set of states so it is our transaction function for we can say uh turing machine so q is a current state and it is toy it represented the uh, top of the state suppose here what thing will be top of the tape suppose here is a blank so what is the top of the tape it is a blank when we apply a particular variable comes blank or any string like 
a or any string like b anything any input string so tape contain the two things we already read that it can it may be a contains the input string or either it can contain the blank symbol spatial symbol so q is a current state suppose we are at a current state and there is a input at the top uh, we can set type then we move to the next step and we also have the new symbol in the top of the stack and we are going to move either left or either right so it is a transaction function for a turing machine so it is simply formal definition of turing machine so what is a turing machine turing machine nothing but a special machine which contain the unbounded tape which can and one had which is move left or right in the board direction and tape is unbounded it contains um, any amount of data and it having the input symbols and blank symbol and one is a finite control which controls the header to move left or right and reading the data and another thing uh, it is having the advantage over push down automata and turing machine to push down automata and finite automata because they are moving in only one direction but turing machine can move in either in the both direction either left or right and it contain the seven symbols which are it is a tuple of seven symbols which is represented over here and it is a its transaction function so it was an turing machine so in the next uh, video we will have a look about an example of turing machine and going to understand little bit more deeper that what is a turing machine and how it is a practically used to solve the questions so till now thank you thank you very much if you have any question then please ask your question in the comment box i feel very happy to answer your question